Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews, folks. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Um, I'm going to be reviewing Shin Godzilla, and right off the gate, I'm going to say this. This movie is 9.5 out of 10, objectively, without bias. This movie has great writing, acting, cinematography, computer-generated effects, CGI, special effects, all of it, well done. Hollywood's, most of Hollywood's special effects studios could learn a thing or two about special effects from whoever did the special effects for Shane Godzilla, the 2016 movie that was in between the MonsterVerse movies. So, this movie basically has been made to also serve two purposes. One, to be a Godzilla movie. Two, to basically show how much the Japanese, or what the Japanese really think of their government. <laughs> um, their government, basically, there's a problem in a tunnel. There's a lot of leaking in the tunnels underneath uh, certain areas. There's a problem in the bay. They're calling meetings for every emergency situation. Meetings upon meetings upon meetings and committees and committees and committees. And it dr the, before and as they're trying to discuss how best to react to the first thing, 13 more different things happen. And so it's like, uh, what? <laughs> and it just it shows the ridiculous ineptitudes of all these committees and whatnot. The Prime Minister of Japan tries saying that the creature will not come on the land. Like, ten seconds later, there's an aide goes up, uh, the creature just made landfall. What? <laughs> now, I watched this movie in both original and uh, US dub. The original is far better. Because, well, also, you're not having to worry about what they say, but you do have to watch, if you don't understand Japanese, you're going to have to watch it with the subtitles. The American dub is great in some ways, too, because it shows that there's hilarity in certain areas. Now, like I said, the CGI, or the special effects in this movie are top-notch. They are better than what Hollywood has produced so far. I have not seen a movie in Hollywood that has special effects that I actually thought was a real thing that they made. When I see God when you see Godzilla in this movie walking through Tokyo, he is not a person in a suit. He is a CGI creation. Godzilla's final form. They also use some stop motion. They do use some digital effects that aren't as good. And, but when it comes to his mouth opening up when he's getting ready to use his atomic breath, that, I believe, is a puppet. And there is a lull where Godzilla, or there's two lulls. One where, after his second form, Shinagawa-kun, dis disappears, there's a lull, then he's back, but there's still, but there's still a story going on. And then... After he totally destroys Tokyo and wreaks havoc all the way through, he kind of goes into sleep mode, and they're trying, or they're basically figuring out how are we gonna get rid of this thing that is adapting to everything we do. They tried dropping bombs, they shot tanks, they did all sorts of shit. He was adapting to all of it, and it wasn't doing a damn thing to him. They dropped bombs on his back that hurt him so much that. The next time they tried, he shot out photon uh, beams from his back. Not atomic breath beams, photon beams. There's a difference, folks. Science and stuff. But there's also, when he was in kind of like a dormant mode in the middle of Tokyo, they tried sending drones. And the second a drone got into view of his body, the body, some part of his body, it looked like his hip, shot the damn drone down. It just goes to show you that he kind of has a, a radar, which they actually call a phase array radar. And he's protecting himself. 
And at the end of this movie, if you pay attention to the tail, which they show, you see little things coming off after they freeze him. And this is just, whoa. It's basically, it took a committee to kill Godzilla, so Godzilla is going to turn into a committee. And I hope that they do a sequel to this movie to see how this will play out. It truly is interesting. If you're a Godzilla fan like I am, the very first Godzilla roar from Shinagawa-kun is the original 1954 Gojira roar. And I'm like, nice. The roar he gives just as he's about to be frozen for good is, I believe, one of the 70s movies. I cannot remember which one specifically, but I do, re or I do remember the different roars and whatnot. This is a great movie. So, yeah, I highly recommend it for any person who is a Godzilla fan. Even if you're not a Godzilla fan, watch it. It's that good. Like I said, the CGI effects in this movie are top of the line. And it was done not by a Hollywood studio, but by Japan. I'm not saying that Japan has crappy stuff either. They just proved they didn't. They just proved their or freaking special effects for God's or for Shin Godzilla is way better than most of these movies we get nowadays, like Avengers and stuff. Avengers, you could tell it's all special effects. You couldn't in this movie. Anyway, folks, I am going to wrap it up. Thank you for hearing this review. If you have liked this video, y'all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below if you have seen Shin Godzilla. If not, I highly recommend you do. Watch both the Japan dub and the American dub. If you can handle the Ameri American words coming out of a ja or Japanese lips, uh, moving and saying things in Japanese, you know what I mean. But yes, definitely give this movie a watch and see what I mean when I say it's the best computer-generated imagery I have ever seen. Anyway, folks, that's going to be it. This has been Orange Hat Reviews. Stay humble.